Today I am going to talk about uh, one of the most commonly used uh, design pattern that is a singleton design pattern. Before that uh, just I wanted to give some overview about uh, design pattern. What is the design pattern exactly? I don't want to make it uh, more complicated uh, uh, definition. Just a uh, uh, simple way design pattern is a solution to the reoccurring problems. That means uh, solution to the problems in the um, software development uh, phase so if you see this uh, ppt uh, design patterns are uh, divided into three categories uh, first one is uh, creational design patterns structural design patterns behavioral design patterns and uh, there are some more uh, design patterns uh, which uh, doesn't come under uh, these three design patterns so those are uh, miscellaneous uh, design patterns uh, like mvc design pattern dao design patterns uh, etc so today we are uh, going to discuss uh, about uh, creation one of the creational design pattern that is singleton design pattern so and its uh, implementations actually what is the singleton design pattern like uh, so for example uh, we need a instance of a class same instance of a class entire our application then we must go with singleton design pattern so it ensures that only one instance of the class exists in the java virtual mission that is the beauty of this design pattern so to define the design pattern we have to follow certain predefined rules so that class must contain the private uh, constructor uh, to restrict uh, instantiation of the class from other classes so and second one is a private static variable of the same class uh, that is the only uh, one instance of the class so third one is a public static wide public static method uh, and uh, which is a factory method we call uh, which returns the instance of the same class if this is the global access point uh, for the outer world to get the instance of the singleton let's see practicals there are several approaches uh, among them uh, i a already defined uh, three different approaches uh, one is uh, um, eager uh, singleton implementation and the second one is lazy singleton implementation third one is thread safe singleton design pattern so the implementation so all these approaches we must follow like this uh, the, uh, must follow the, the uh, private uh, uh, static variable and uh, private constructor public static uh, uh, method which returns the same instance of the class let's look into uh, eager singleton implementation so as i said uh, there are three rules uh, one is uh, first one is we have to define the um, uh, private uh, constructor which uh, avoids the creation of object uh, from the outside so uh, and define the private static uh, um, variable uh, which represents the uh, instance of the same class so so since uh, this class is uh, an, uh, an, uh, um, restricted to create the object of this class from outside instance has to be created and that should be accessed globally so we are giving that global access point from this static uh, public static method okay so here like uh, uh, public static synchronized thread shape this is the one so this is the one. see public static final uh, eager uh, singleton instance method and uh, it contains the second one is a private constructor it uh, it has it also contains a public static uh, method which returns the same uh, uh, instance of the same class this is the one for example if you see if you execute 
so this is the one if you want to test you can test uh, create one singleton test method class right click uh, new class singleton and you can uh, select this public static wide main method also let's see control d system data order the println instance uh, one control space dot get instance it will return an instance of the class hash code if hash code is same then uh, when how many times you call uh, so if you get uh, same instance uh, that means only one instance exists uh, uh, in the jvm for example instance one instance two instance three just run this one right click run as java application see instance one instance one uh, hash code is uh, this one uh, last three digits are uh, six four two this one is also 642 this one also 642 that means uh, how many times you are calling you are going to call it returns the same object this is called uh, singleton design pattern and uh, approach is uh, eager instantiation eager uh, instantiation why i am saying uh, eager instantiation means uh, whenever uh, uh, class gets loads so automatically instance will be created and stored into this static uh, um, uh, variable so whenever uh, client calls uh, get instance method uh, that uh, uh, earlier uh, in, in instantiated uh, uh, instance uh, will be returned to the caller so uh, this is a bit uh, performance uh, issue if you ask me because uh, so it will uh, take uh, more time to load the application so that is one time process so the second approach is a lazy singleton approach so in this case uh, approach is same only there should be three points first one is a private constructor second one is a private static variable third one is a public static method which returns the same object on same class so here whenever class gets loads that time instance won't be created whenever this get instance method is invoked by the client that time only it will check whether instance is created or not if not then it will create the instance of this class and returns that's why we call lazy instance singleton approach so second approaches in this scenario if you see uh, if uh, uh, application is deployed in different different uh, uh, jvms uh, different different servers uh, then uh, if uh, this is a multi-threaded application then if multiple threads uh, uh, tries to if multiple threads try to uh, um, get the access of this class then there, there, there is a chance to create multiple objects which destroys the uh, motto of this singleton design pattern that's why we will use thread safe concept to avoid creation of multiple instances of the same class so here also same approach so three points you should remember first one is the private constructor should be there and the public static method and third one is a, a, a private static variable so here if you see synchronized keyword i used because to avoid the entering multiple threads 
to create this uh, instance so this uh, synchronized keyword allows only one thread at a time so let take thread one comes and it will check whether instance um, object is created or not for this class so very first time object instance will be null um, so uh, object will be created and uh, assigned to this instance variable it will return and then once the uh, first uh, thread is completed execution of this method then the synchronized keyword will allow second thread to enter into this method so second thread it will check whether instance is created or not so since uh, this uh, instance is created by first thread so second thread uh, it doesn't uh, go uh, enter into this one and it will return it will uh, uh, get the uh, same instance of this class this is about uh, singleton design pattern it is very 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 useful so uh, every developer must know about uh, this singleton design pattern that's all friends thanks for uh, watching my video if you like uh, please uh, uh, subscribe my video thank you so much